Now we're going to talk about crimping our mini high res BNC connectors onto RGB HV cable. Okay, so we've got our cable, our mini high res RGB HV cable, and we want to put those uh, crimp on some BNC connections to that. First thing we need to do is strip back this jacket, and I like to use a knife for that, and just score around the cable. And then we can pull back the jacket and it should start to split. And then we can work it off slowly. If it's still a little bit snagged, we can see if we've got a little catch. Look on the other side. You want to be careful when you do this not to cut the cables inside. So it's just to cut the jacket. Remove the jacket. We remove the foil, use our scissors to cut back the pull string, and there's also a strand in this particular cable to cut off as well. We have a couple strings on the inside to help protect and space those coax cables. We'll cut those. And then we want to put some heat shrink on right away. And this is going to go around all five coaxes. That'll be there. And then also we're going to use some heat shrink for each of the B and C's. So it's put a piece for the red, green, blue, H and V. And it's a good idea to get all of this on right away. Nothing worse than getting your connector finished and find out you forgot to put something in. Now let's look at our connector. And there's several pieces to our connector. There's our ferrule. And you notice there's a small end and then a bigger end. And so this small end will go onto our cable first. This is our center conductor and way in close there's a little tiny hole on the side. That's a little viewing window so that when we put that onto the conductor, we can see the strands of the cable going up through that. And when we see that, then we can crimp down on it. This is a spacer, and it makes sure we have the proper spacing around the cable as well as the length of the cable. I'll show you that in just a moment. And of course, this is the main piece of the, the connector, and it has the front. And you'll see where the hole in the middle is where the center conductor will come through. We put on this ferrule. Again, we want to put the small end on first. We want to do this before we strip the cable, because after we strip the cable, it's really, really difficult to get that ferrule on. So now we need to strip back this cable. Well, how far do I need to strip it? Well, it needs to come out about this long, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to strip it about here. I'm going to use stripper, and all I do is come down and squeeze once then I should be able to pull this off with any luck. And the foil, and then we'll undo all the strands, and we pull the strands back. And I think you can see how difficult it would be to get this around those strands. So that's why it's important to do that first. Now the next piece is this white spacer. And that goes on. This spacer is going to show us where we're going to strip this. So we get our strip tool here and strip it right there. And now we need to, to find the right place to cut this. And this is the, the difficult part, is that we're going to try to get this so that that wire goes in the hole and we can, in the center, and we can still see it in the window. And we need to cut it right about here. So I'll use my cutters. Cut that right there. I have to give this a little bit of a twist, because now I want to put this piece right on there. It's really small. 
I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this piece right on here. And can you see that coming through the window? Should be some strands popping through. And now that that looks good, now we can get our crimp tool. And the crimp tool has a few different settings. We're going to be using the orange holes, and the center conductor is the one further in the back. And what I like to do is close this down just a little bit, and then poke this into the hole and crimp. And now that connection is crimped nice and tight. The next part is to put the connector on and it just needs a little bit of a wiggle and you can feel just a little tiny snap. Now all of this I don't need. I'm going to trim this way back. and I can push this ferrule up and I want to make sure I don't have any strands sticking out of the top. Now on my crimping tool I have to be careful because the crimping tool has a narrow end and a fat end and I have a narrow and a fat here so I need to turn this so that it crimps in the right direction. This will probably stick in here a little bit and we just need to take our hand and pull it out. So now that connection is done. And we can feel the pin up front, it's sticking up far enough, so that connection is complete. Okay, so we finished our first connection. We need to make four more exactly the same way. And after we finish those, then we can heat shrink our components together. Now that we have all five connectors on, we need to put the heat shrink and shrink it down to give us some support on these cables. Now ordinarily this heat shrink would be maybe red, green, blue, black, and, and yellow, but in our case we're using clear so you can see what we're doing. So what we want to do is have the heat shrink these and we want to rotate this as we go so we can get a nice even melt. And now we've got some heat going. Rotating as we go. I like to just push up a little bit to make sure it's getting all the way up to the top. And I also like to have a little bit of length here because this is what's going to support it. So it doesn't have a problem here at the end of the B and C. If we didn't have the heat shrink, we might find that it's, uh, we get a failure here at the end of that cable. And one more. And finally we do the, the end here. I like to have about an inch. Again, this is for support. It also makes for an attractive connection on the end. If there's any frayed pieces or a little piece of string hanging out. This will make it a nicer looking connection for your client. And now we'll just let that cool for a moment. Okay, so we've completed our RGB HV cables, our mini high res B and C connections. We put on our heat shrink and our heat shrink here. 
All we have left to do is hook up the other end, and away we go.